the grace of God is sufficient for you. Allow me today to touch one of the most important aspects of faith. Many of us keep making our prayers, our fasting, acting our faith, whereas failing to see the outcome of our prayers, our fasting, I mean the outcome of these very actions which are triggered by faith. And oftentimes we ask ourselves questions as to why is it that the Bible says, ask and it shall be given to you, but I ask though I don't receive. My people, I want to say to you today that the success of our prayers, the success of any action that is born of faith depends entirely on the condition of the heart. With God, it is not just the mouth that speaks which matters. God is oftentimes interested on the condition of the heart which offers the very prayer. If the heart is not pure, therefore the prayer which is offered from the heart cannot be pure. The book of Job chapter 14 verse 4 who can bring what is pure from the impure? And the Bible continues to say, no one. Who can offer pure prayers from an impure heart? Who can render pure fasting from an impure heart? Who can render an action born of faith from a heart which is not clean? No one. If the heart is not right, then whatever comes out of it will not be right. To God, the mouth that speaks is not as important, is not as valuable as the heart. A million prayers made which are offered from an impure heart, from a dirty heart, from a grudging heart, from a heart full of resentment, a heart full of hatred, grudges, the heart that does not forgive. As a Christian, the condition of your heart matters the most. We've been going to church. Yes, we've been exercising our faith, but the issue here is, the success of everything that you are talking about spiritually depends on the purity of the heart. Do you understand the importance of your heart? This is the time we are in. We are in the last hour, a season of which we have to take care of our hearts. In the last hour, when you are in trouble, in need of solution, that solution should be now. We have to keep our hearts clean by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you.